What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon. This is my super cute uwu girlfriend, Captain Saro. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to this week's comic haul. For those hardcore Dominions who watch us every week, thank you, but you probably noticed we're on a different day today because on Wednesday, I was up in Queensland rubbing shoulders with the Justice League at the Hall of Justice, you know. But I'm back. We didn't pick up our books till today. Um, free comic book day. That's right, free comic book day. And we wouldn't go a week without showing you what we got, so. Let's do this. Would you like to go first, my lady? Sure. Okay. So the only book I had actually come in this week is Jenny Frizen Poison Ivy. Beauty. Is a very nice cover. This one. That is all. And then we'll show you the free comic book day books you picked up today. Now today, whew, like Mark has that whole thing. You can take one of everything if you want. There's no limits, like a lot of stores have limits. Mark's just like, take one of everything, but you can only take one of it. You can't take multiples of anything. And mate, that 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 wall of books got hammered pretty quickly today. Some of these are actually uh, a little bit older too. So we had a lot of stores use free comic book days, books that are left over from previous years as well. So some of them are those too, so anyway. My one, I think all, all of my one are new ones. I grabbed the Umbrella Academy because Broadway. Haven't read this yet, but I love some Gerard Way, so it is um, on. It's on my list. Have I really you not read any of it? No. Uh, the show was quite. Good. I didn't read the I book, but I watched like half of the first season. From what I watched, the show was pretty good. All I know is like one of the kid actors in it people hated. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> I grabbed Street Fighter because Street Fighter is something that I actually kind of want to look into. I like a lot of the character designs. I don't know if you like this. I've never really read a Street Fighter comic. Then how can you tell me that I wouldn't like it? Well, because it's about fighting. <laughs> I've been reading Dragon Ball Z, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, good call. Mark has got a stamp. Yeah, he did get the stamp last year. Which I was very happy to see. And when Simon said my books were going to be stamped, I was very, very happy. The one I was kind of most excited this for. This is my spec pick for 2023, people. I've got Animal Crossing with a little it's a Kirby Manga Mania uh, in there as well. I love me some Animal Crossing and Kirby. Um, but I was kind of sad. Simon says what they normally do is when they do a half-half comic book, they have a cover on both sides. Yeah. They didn't do it for this one, which is kind of sad. So I would have loved a full-size Kirby cover. So normally it'd be like one book this way, and then you'd spin it upside down and turn around, there'd be another cover on the other side. But yeah, this one is pretty good. And I actually don't know if this is a new one or an old one. No, so that's a, a reprint of the first issue. Which I already have. So that came out for Batman Day like three years ago. I went into All-Star Comics in my early, early uh, collecting days, um, which is not that long ago. Um, I went to All-Star Comics, so we missed Batman Day. So me and Tony went to All-Star the day after Batman Day. And mm -hmm. I went in and I was like, oh, how's um, how was Batman Day for you guys? And they said, yeah, very cool, da da da. And I was like, oh, we had to work, so we missed out. And I'm like, oh, we've, we've still got some books left over. We like something like, yeah. Uh, Simon's actually the one that got me to read White Knight. Like, Years ago, I asked him for a recommendation on what to read, and he recommended that, and I love it. So I grabbed that. Hashtag recommendation guy. <laughs> uh, that's all for me. That's all you got? Yeah. Okay, I've got a... Uh, actually, no, it's not too fat a stack. It's about, like, ten times more than what I grabbed, yeah. so but... I'll show you my... Uh, I guess my weekly books first. Okay, so first I got me some. Now this one, this one came out actually I think a few weeks ago. I didn't know about it, but um, Sonic you the didn't Hedgehog. Know about it, but he ordered it. Well, I saw uh, my boy Vaughn show one of these, and I was like, oh, I want to get that. So this is Sonic the Hedgehog issue one. I believe it's a reprint of the first IDW Sonic. And I thought that was cool because uh, you guys probably know I talk about Sonic a lot because back in the day when I was into, or into reading comics as a teenager, Sonic the Hedgehog and Archie was my favourite thing in the whole world. So I thought it would be cool to get the first issue of that and actually show check the, out. Show the oh yeah, it's like it's like a, um, what do you call it, like a, <laughs> what do you call that? Hello. A fold, centre fold cover. It's pretty cool though. Does it go all the way around the, yeah, it goes around the other side. Oh that's super cool, look. I don't want to, actually maybe we can. No, not <laughs> we're, we're gonna hurt the rip book. the comic book. Yeah, apart maybe not. All around it. So I picked up the Prison Poison Ivy as well, but we've already seen that. I got Batman issue 135. Um, there is the A cover there, and I also picked up the variant. Is this an art germ? It's very um, nice. I had to stop myself from ordering this one. Very nice art germ cover. Big fan of that one. 
And then I picked up my variants from Lovesick. I think I picked up Lovesick last week, but I left the variants just because the haul was getting a little bit much. So there's one of the covers. Cover D. Cover D, there you go, Sarah's on it. And that's the Virgin of the cover A. I picked up this one. I had to reorder because I picked up It's Jeff when it came out. And I thought I ordered this Jaws variant, but I didn't. Uh, so that night I jumped on previews and I uh, ordered this to ho and hoped that it would come in. And it did. One left came in. So that's the cool It's Jeff variant. And then Mark still had one of these on the shelves today, so I thought I'd pick it up because I'm hashtag Star Wars spec guy. <laughs> uh, and then I've got a pretty fat stack of free comic book day books. Some of these I've actually picked up just so I could have to give to people and things like that. It's like these little kitty ones. So some of these kids ones are just good to have. You can give them to your friends who have kids and things like that. Get them into comic books, you know, uh, just to keep this uh, thing alive. So this next one is Mech Cadets. Um, that kid looks a little bit like Ash Ketchum, don't you think? He's got a bit of an Ash feel to him. Does he really? No? No. It's just because he's got a cat and he's, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Mad Balls versus Garbage Power Kids. Now I grabbed this one from one of my mates because I know he's a big, uh, big fan of both of those um, things. Shaman King Flowers. Why did you grab this one? Um, I guess to give to maybe manga fans. Maybe Winter would like this one. I don't know. Then we got some Frazettaverse. Uh, I was surprised that there was quite a few of these left. Show some love for some Frank Frazetta art. So look, is the insides Frank Frazetta art? The insides are definitely not Frank Frazetta art. <laughs> Uh, this is the Marvel one, Spider-Man Venom. Remember a couple of years ago when the free comic book... Actually, Marvel have done that a bit. Marvel have done a few free comic book day books where they've actually been kind of like keys. They had the um, first... What was his name? Virus or something like that was um, free comic book day. And then they did one last year, the Judgment Day book was the first, I think, appearance of Blade's daughter. Right. Bloodline, I think her name is. Interesting. They've done that quite a, Bloodline. Quite a bit. Bloodline, isn't that that series? That's coming out. Yeah, that's the uh, Blade's Blade's daughter. Rian did a cover for that. There you go. <laughs> um, this is Red Sonia. Now a lot and a lot of people, I don't know why, were specking on this. I don't understand why. It's a bloody Red Sonia free comic book day book. <laughs> but um apparently there's gonna be a movie coming out of Red Sonia, I heard. I don't know if that's still happening, but heard rumors of that a little while back. Ranger Academy for all those Power Ranger guys. I'm not really a Power Rangers guy, but I thought I'd get one just in case I meet a Power Rangers guy one day and go, hey, have this Power Rangers guy. Conan, um, the Barbarian. If you're getting Red Sonya, you gotta get some Conan the Barbarian in there. Chow Jin X. This looks dark. Is this like a manga one? So this like, yeah, so this looks like a manga type one, but it looks quite dark. And again, all the manga ones normally have a second story. So this has got also Rooster featuring Fighter. Rooster Fighter, but yeah, none of these. This year, I actually gone for the back-to-back -back covers. That's interesting. But even up to last year, they were doing that a lot for the um, for the split books. Dawn of DC, Night Terrors. This was the DC free comic book day one. Um, Night Terrors, I think, is probably the new event that's coming out, which I could not care less about. Marvel Uncanny Avengers. This is the another Marvel free comic book day one. My mom likes a band called Uncanny X-Men. Oh, she does. <laughs> Old school. Star Trek. This one I'll probably send to my boy Jamie, because he's a Trekkie. Star Trek. Star Trek, when I say Star, Star Trek. Trek. Sorry, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's that. Uh, Marvel Voices. Another Marvel. So what, they had three of them, did they? That's pretty good. DC only had two, did they? Uh, I'm not sure. Next, we've got Shadow Man. Shadow Man is on um, Valiant, I believe. Which I still haven't read. I've got a couple of Valiant books just from Free Comic Book Day, but I've never actually read any of them. The Valiant isn't the game? No, Valiant's the label. Oh. And then we got the Ninja Turtles book. Yeah. Can't go wrong with some Ninja Turtles. Last year's Free Comic Book Day, I think Ninja Turtles book was something as well. I think it might have been a first appearance, maybe. I couldn't remember. This is like an older Batman Day book. It might have been from last year. I couldn't remember if I had that or not, so I thought I'd better just yeah, grab stamped. one. Yeah, stamped. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't bother me with the stamp. I just someone's a fake out. fan. He doesn't want his big city stamps you know, on that's his a lie. Book. Now I bought this back in the day when I first started collecting because I saw it and I freaked out. I didn't know what free comic book day was back then. Mark still had some. I thought I'd pick it up. Yeah, just just to give to someone who's a fan of the series. Uh, I bought this for I think four dollars back when I first was started collecting, and I was like, why does it say free comic book day on it? And I'm paying four dollars. <laughs> I didn't make it. Didn't make sense to me. This is another DC one. We are legends. Are you now? Oh, these are all those um, new Asian characters, I think. 
they're, they're introducing all the new Asian characters, I think. Is, this is kind of like um, how uh, Marvel did the whole new agents of whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a few new characters there. Uh, and then this one here, I don't know, I don't think this is a free comic book day book, but Mark had a bunch of them there, so maybe he... I don't know, I don't know the story, but uh, it was Deadpool, The Gauntlet, issue one. It was randomly in there as well, so I thought, why not take one of those? I've actually got a surprise for Sarah. you got a surprise for me. I've got a surprise for you. But before we do that, uh, let's do some shout outs. Shout out to Old Wolf and his nice toes as of today. It's disgusting. <laughs> Old Wolf sends us his uh, pedicures weekly. I don't like it, but Sarah <laughs> does because she's really the feet guy. I'm going to quickly do two shout outs. Uh, Fred Hall Direct Edition, my homie. He's less than 30 subscribers away from 1,000. Um, you guys should all know Fred, but just in case you're not, he does comic books, toys, collectibles. He has food. He has the best catchphrases in all of YouTube. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to leave a link to Fred Hall uh, if you're not sub to him. Like I said, he's on his uh, very close to 1,000. And the other channel I just want to quickly shout out is Carolina Chris 26. Um, he normally does live streams. He doesn't do many edited videos anymore, but he did a comic haul video the other day, which I checked out. So I'm going to leave a link to that if you're not subscribed to Carolina Chris 26. 26. That's what he does. Actually, he does that. Anyway, actually, close your eyes. Okay. You guys know that I'm a hashtag key guy now, right? I don't bother with the double ups on books anymore. I'm all about those keys. Are you? So. Uh, this book is for Sarah. Uh, you may open your eyes and flip it around. <laughs> Baby, it's blue. It's blue. What are you asking me? Uh, it's a key to my house. <laughs> so me and Sarah don't actually live together. Um, she's just over all the time. And the reason she doesn't live here and I don't ask her for anything is because, you know, at any time I can just be like, Sarah, can you go home? <laughs> um, so uh, we've been talking for, for a while. We'll probably eventually move out together, but the first step is to give her a key. Uh, that key doesn't come for free, by the way, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but yeah, Thank I got you. you a key. It's not, there's not gonna be no more awkward conversations of who should have the key, who's getting home first and... Thank yeah, you. <laughs> so just, I mean, just the week passed while I was gone uh, this week, uh, up for a work event in Queensland, um, she had to mind my cat. So she had my keys and she could do whatever she wants. So. <laughs> Yeah, there is a. There we go. There's your key. <laughs> Thank you for this key. <laughs> Big key. It's going to be the clickbait for this uh, video, <laughs> by the way. Um, anyway, that's all from us this week. Like I said, we had free comic book day today at Big City Comics. I'm going to release the um, free comic book day vlog tomorrow night, um, just because I want to get that video out soon. I don't like releasing videos two days in a row, but uh, just for the sake of having it out while it's relevant, relevant. I'm going to have the free comic book day uh, video tomorrow. I've still got videos to come with my brother in his man cave with the Transformers video. We cool. have the room tour. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. Like I had the whole of April off and had a lot of fun making a lot of videos and yeah, it's good times. Even though I didn't do much or achieve much, I did achieve making a bunch of videos. We sorted at least 10% of his comic yeah, book collection. We did a little bit of comic book <laughs> sorting, so yeah, it wasn't at all a waste. Uh, but that's all from us next week. We should be back to uh, the regular regular time of uh, Wednesday nights or Wednesday morning, I think, for the US. Yeah. And yeah. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And until next time, say bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. And keep it simple.